sense, but who gives a heck? You're so beautiful as hell. Foxy, it's not what you think. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Hello everyone, it's your boy, Phone on Waffle, and if you have watched my last video, I promised that I would be doing a video soon. I plan on um, making a walkthrough or playthrough or game through of the furry game Amorous, and today I am finally doing it. It's a gameplay of Amorous. F basically, it's the um, fairly well-known furry game, and let me just say, it's basically a porno. But I will be playing the SFW version, luckily. Basically safe for work. So yeah. I will not be doing anything naughty in these videos, well, throughout these f various videos that I will be doing of the whole game. So don't worry, you won't be seeing anything sexually exploit or anything. So here we go. Okay, so we got the options here, and here I am, activating NS, no, not NSF, God's sake. Um, I'm enabling SWF mode. There we go. No, no, no. We don't want any bits showing or anything. But there may will be some like sexual references, but I believe those will be fine. So here we go. Oh, I don't want to continue. I want to start a new game, God's sake. <clears throat> here we are. Pretty much everyone loves the coast. Clear blue skies above the crystal clear waters of the shoreline. What's not to like, right? That's my town in a nutshell. Well, I do like the background. Oh, look who we have here. <laughs> they look really good, to be honest. Really cute, too. I think we've got a skunk on the left and a wolf in the middle here. Probably another wolf and a, and a girl fox there. They all looking fancy. Don't get me wrong. This is the place to be if you want slim girls, hunky guys, and curious tourists on the spectrum between those two. <laughs> It's a hotspot holiday destination for anyone wanting to pay for the tranquility of an ocean breeze with the occasional slap on the ass. <laughs> I would definitely pay for that. It does wear thin when this is all you have ever known. Hmm. The beach gets gradually less interesting the more you see it. The constant barrage of skimpy trunks, lacy bikinis, and a culture that embraces its liberal sexuality. Uh, I can, I guess I can see why. I suppose I can see why it's such a big deal for outsiders. Maybe I'm a little spoiled. I guess I'm just a bit of stick in the mud. School and work always got in the way, you know? Anyway, there's more to life than trying to hook up with everyone in your senior year. <laughs> I never did that. I was the loneliest boy in class. I never really found the time to date at your graduation, drifting apart from friends who had a different mindset. I see enough of that at home from my libido-driven brother. Oh boy. Well, this should be interesting. Beep, 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 beep. That's my alarm noise. <laughs> the sweet serenade of the alarm going off again. Time to get up and face reality. I'm beginning to wonder why I keep sitting it in the first place. <laughs> Me too, mate. I always set my, like, alarm for 11 a.m. every day, and, like, and I'm like, why, why did I even set that? I should be sleeping in. It feels like every morning I sleep past my wake-up call a little longer. I guess it's pretty easy when there's nowhere you expect it to be in an hour. 11 a.m. At least I can still consider it breakfast if I get up now. My motivation seems like it's a little low this week. Saturday morning, and it feels like the middle of the week still. That ever happened to you? Oh wait, I just remembered. Kobe invited his friends over today. Watching them get, in, watching them get all touchy-feely gets kind of weird, considering we still share a bedroom. You still share a bedroom? Dude, how old are you? Yeah, screw that. I'm not going to pretend to sleep while they swap saliva. Oh god. Okay, just throw snogging, wet snogging in there. At least he's over there place most of the time. If I'm quick, I can dodge a bullet and sneak out of the house before having to say hi. Mm, 
This must. This is a pretty house, I must admit. It's got that like anesthetic feeling. Even got a portrait of probably my brother on the wall or something. So far, so good. No sign of anyone while I was in the kitchen. I can grab a shower when I get back. Though I guess I didn't work out where I'm going after the escape lab. I might as well decide on that now. Oh, so we got five choices here. So where we can go, like through the door. Get cleaned up and hand out more resumes. Put on sneakers and go for a jog. Hell no. Even though I'm doing like a monthly fitness challenge, so I might as well do that. Go for a drive and see if there's anything fun in town. Help out around the house or relax and chill out and use the internet. Hmm. All of these sound pretty good in my opinion. Like, honestly, these were things that I would pretty much do. But if I had to, if I wanted to have more fun, then I would go for a drive. Go for like little gaming shopping or something. It's probably being stuck at home that's making me feel all philosophical in the mornings. <laughs> Some fresh air will do me wonders! It's a bit of an odd hour to catch a movie. All the good flicks are on in the evening. Yep, that's definitely true. I could always grab a towel and head down to the gym or the beach. It's a beautiful day either way. It'll suck to waste it inside. <laughs> Okay, Smokey, just pop up in front of me, in underwear, Jesus Christ. And you've got a really big bulge too, my god. Why am I even staring at that? I should be staring at his face, not down there. Gee, my god, what am I doing? So, so this guy's name's called Kobe. Hey there, my rain of sunshine. You're looking chipper this morning. Damn it, Kobe, give me a heart attack, why don't you? I didn't even know you were home already. Where the hell are your clothes? Don't tell me you and your boyfriend are already doing it in my bedroom. Hey, that's not very nice. Can't a little brother say good morning? Anyway, it's our bedroom, don't forget. Just because you're in there all the time doesn't mean it's yours all day. <coughs> yeah, I guess I get that part. But it's the only time I see you in there is when you're getting punked by some dude you just met. <laughs> oh my god, is he a prostitute? Excuse me for being a little bitter, especially when I'm trying to sleep and all I can hear is bed squeaks and bird squawks. Is he in there now? Spent and sleeping like a kitten, I bet. I might have to grab a few things. For your information, it's just you and me at home. That's why I'm in underwear. Don't you ever walk around the house naked when you know no one's watching? You do it even when I'm around to see Cobes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my friend, he isn't here. When is he getting here then? I just want to know how long I have the bedroom to myself before you're being thrown up about against the glass. Wet intercourse, great. He isn't coming at all. He dumped me this morning via text. Ah, oh, what, what a douchebag that guy is. Whoa, that's awful, man. What a jerk way to do it. Exactly what I was thinking. I was wondering, can I spend the day with you to cheer up, I mean? He seemed like a nice guy from when I met him. Sorry, Kobe. You want to hang out? Let me think for a sec. You called me right when I was going to do something. If I had, if I had a younger sibling, I would, I would probably make time for him, because I don't want him to feel all alone. F forget what I was thinking previously, I want to spend time with my sibling. Hey, cheer up, okay? We'll go do something fun together, and you can put that douchebag behind you. Well, not behind you, but... <sighs> Doggy style, wow! Well, you know what I'm trying to say. I knew I could count on you. You're always there for me. We hardly spend time together these days anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I got a bit of a cough. Well, you're hardly home. When you're not working, you're crashing at a friend's place. Probably up to no good as usual. If you wanted me more around, you could have just told me. Remember when we used to share a queen-sized bed together? You couldn't sleep until I cuddled up next to you. Just casually throw spooning in there, why not? Come on, that was years ago. Plus, it'll be weird now. We aren't kids anymore. Doesn't exactly change much to me. 
Speaking of sharing beds, is there anyone you've been bringing home? Are they cute? You certainly seem tired out when I get home. What? I'm just saying. Don't tease. You know I haven't seen anyone in that way since high school. Even then, I never really took my relationship seriously. You don't have to take them seriously to have fun and enjoy yourself. Not getting frisky is probably why you've been so mopey lately. I'm not mopey! Pent up then? It's not that. It's just not working for a few weeks kind of gets me down is all. I'm going to have to sell some things to soon to afford rent. Should have told me when you were feeling down. Hey, don't worry about that stuff this week, okay? I'll cover the rent this week for spending time with me. What the hell? Dude, I'm the older sibling here and your younger brother is taking care of you. Oh my god. God, you are not independent as I thought you were. What the hell? This guy needs to lighten up. The guy I'm playing. The way you say that makes me sound like a jerk who needs to be compensated for spending time with my stepbrother. Oh, it's his stepbrother. I love you, Cobes. It's just seeing you with boyfriends all the time while I can't seem to find anyone for myself gets a little frustrating. Hey, it's no sweat off my back. You covered my butt plenty of times while you were working. It's a shame you get off late, though. You seemed like you were good at that one. Couldn't really help that they downsized the whole department. Yeah, it sucks. But you don't like me bringing friends over while you're at home. I'll stop inviting them if it's going to frustrate you. No, I love it when you're here. It's just... Well, I see you. You've finished school, you're out of home most of the time, working in loving life, exploring your sexuality, and here I am, back at square one. <laughs> I was wondering if I could bathe today. Big decisions. Aw, you're too sweet. You're not that far behind, you just need a kickstart and you'll be back on track. I can't really help you with the job hunting, but how about you and me go into town tonight and check out the clubs? I could use a fresh start myself, especially after this morning. Hmm. Well, I would totally check out the club if I had nothing else to do. And Spam Plus was spending time with Kobe, so we might as well just go along with it. Well, I did say I would spend the day with you. What harm could it do? Exactly, yeah. If it gets boring, we'll go to the movies or do something else instead. Awesome! You'll have a ton of fun, trust me. Anything you want to do together in the meantime, I pick the nighttime activity, you get the daytime. Hmm, let me give a, give me a sec to think of something fun. Hey, hey, <laughs> we're choosing the daytime stuff now. Alright, so nothing too, like, exciting. Play a video game, make lunch together, put on a movie, go for a walk, or hang out in the bedroom. What the hell? What's going to happen in the bedroom if I pick that one? I guess we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> but if I'm perfectly honest, I would probably make lunch. I'm kind of hungry, actually. You don't mind me getting all messy with flour and dough while in my underwear, do you? You know it'll be cute. My god. <clears throat> it was the first time myself and Kobe had a dedicated day to each other for as long as I could remember. We seem to have become distant during high school, and it kind of stuck that way ever since. Maybe this club thing won't be so bad after all. I hadn't even thought about meeting new people outside of work or school for a while. He peered over my shoulder as we scanned the shelves of the pantry and fridge. I just wanted to make sure... Make some simple hot dogs, but he insisted we'd make something we could work on together. I don't know, like a lasagna? He always loved playing with flour, flattening the dough, and getting it all over the place. He offered for me to taste this batter. Do not take out of, do not take that out of context, please. But I had to turn down. Unrisen pizza dough isn't really the same as cake batter when it's still on the spoon. Oh, so we're making a pizza. Give me the cheese and tomato. We helped each other clean up while we waited for it to bake in the oven. He, such, he still somehow managed to sit on the counter and get flour all over his butt in the process. <laughs> Not that he ever seemed to mind getting flogged with a dish towel. Considering neither of us were competent cooks, we made a pretty damn tasty pizza, each getting half each. 
Siri, go away. Siri just appeared on my phone, interrupted me. We got lost in conversation for a while before realizing the time. We wanted to go out tonight. We had to get ready soon. Hey, so we're now we're back in the bedroom. I really like the little details that they applied at the back, like the kangaroo plushie portrait. And I guess that's his like ex-boyfriend. So you look so cute for stu for stupidness. How could how could someone that really adorable dump this dump this bird? For God's sake. Hey, can I use the shower now? Or are you gonna make me climb in there with you? It's all yours. By the way, what should I be wearing to this thing? Is there a theme? I don't have to wear that, do I? If you want to go in just underwear, I'll be your wingman. Wingman, get it? Avian puns, ladies and gentlemen. But really, wear whatever you want. This place has a very flexible dress code. Take your time and pick out something nice while I'm in there, okay? Hey, on a side note, can I borrow that towel? I didn't bring mine over. Can't you use another one? There's like five of them in there. That one's my favorite color though. Plus you're practically dry now anyway. I'll let you the hook off this time. Better swoon me off my feet when I get back. I'll leave the bathroom door open just a sliver, just in case you need me. I'm sure I can dress myself. Go get washed up. We should get going soon. <coughs> All right, knowing Kobe, he's gonna be in there for ages. I'll have plenty of time to get ready. Now it's just a matter of time of figuring out where to start. So this is the part where we customize our own character. Luckily there's no there's no bad stuff in there, so we've only got the good choices. So if you wanted to play the whole game by the default character, this is him. So technically this is a is Kobe's brother, Avon the Avian. He does look really good for a dude. What are you fucking gay? So here we go. And I'll be speeding this up for you, Fluffbutt, so that you just don't have to sit through all this torture. And to adjust the phone to my desired color. And here we have... Complete! Alright, so... I've done my character. <laughs> it looks nothing like what I envisioned. Like, if you know by now, I have tried to create my character, Frollin Wildpaw. But this looks like an Asda downgrade. Oh my god. It doesn't even have the spots on his arm, the markings on his legs, and even the colors on his tail, but it will have to do. All right, let's just save this template in case for later. And we made his phone blue, just why not? So, off we go. Here we are, yes. Yeah, oh, here's Kobe again. Hey, hey Frolin, did you move the conditioner? Mine just ran out. Could you sh- Whoa. Do you mind? Ah, my, my, my name text has, has showed up now. And now I'm officially Kobe's brother. Hey, 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 hey. Do you mind? Just letting it hang out while you look for an outfit, huh? Well, for reference, if you came up to me like that and asked me out, I'll, I'll be all for it. Ha ha. I know you're not used to getting dressed, Kobe, but you tend- but you tend to need to strip down to put new clothes on. Anyway, perv bird, I'm sure that the club has slightly more restrictions on clothing. Yeah, it sucks. The scary thing is, I can't tell if he's joking or not. I guess it would make it easier to tell a few things about someone. Get back in there and finish up and stop distracting me! Looked like you were admiring yourself in the mirror to me! And where's your towel, Mr. Preachy? Guess I didn't think of that. Anyway, I need I still need to rinse. I can go change in the bathroom if you're not comfortable around me. You just caught me at an awkward moment is all. Nothing either of us has seen before. 
I saw a new conditioner bowl under the sink. Finish up quick, we shouldn't stand around all night like a pair of nudists. <laughs> My god. Well, I can sort of be relatable. Damn! I'll have underwear at least by the time you're back. I promise. Sounds fair to me. Just don't take forever or I get to dress you. I better decide on an outfit before he gets back. Okay, I need to I need an outfit that really expresses me. Well, better cut down the options. Oh, we get to assume our gender. Wonderful. Well, Frolin is always has been always been has always been a male, so let's do this. Narrows things down. Now wardrobe wardrobe on the wall. Oh, what are we gonna be wearing to the club then? Something seasonal, summer wear, shorts and a t-shirt, something simple, a t-shirt and comfortable pants. I much prefer a skirt or a cami. We're going to be cross-dressing. <laughs> that would be fun. I'm not leaving without my boots. The punk biker look. Something a little more... Oh, oh more options. Formal wear will turn some heads at the bar. Nah, I don't think anyone would be interested in smart looks. Flashy rave gear would get me noticed. I would go for that. I'm more, more at home with the goth and Victorian look. Hmm. They have a pool. Swimwear is as showy as you can get. Okay, so we got like, we got like eight choices here. Well, it's e I think either the cross-dressing or, or the underwear, or swimwear, I mean. Hmm. Well, if they have a pool there, then I would obviously, I would obviously go in swimwear. I don't give a heck what people think of me. Um, let's, let's, let's go for swimwear. Oh, he's, he's got a nice look on. I really like the, um, the striped sleeves. And his vest and the, and the shorts. They really suit him very much. Either you're heading to the pool or you're really looking to show me up. I like it. Very exposed. Now we got, now we can respond. Thanks, you look good too. It'll do. Can we get going? They'll probably wouldn't let me in wearing nothing. Give me a shake of that booty first. <laughs> no way I'm choosing that. I'm not gay. Are you sure about that? You're going like that? <sighs> Thanks. You look good too. I would compliment him as much as I want. Aw, thanks, Frolin. Well, we're both doled up. Time to put it to good use. Let's get going then. We're off to the club. Oh, very nice. Very nice 80s style background there with the pine trees and anything else. I decided to let Kobe drive since he knew the way. He was such a regular and had dated one of the bouncers briefly that we didn't even have to worry about waiting in line when we got there. So we're technically VIPs. It was one of those clubs. Once the staff knew you, you were fine. Otherwise, you had to be very patient to be to see the even to see the inside. We drove to the illuminated side of town. The sun now well on its way to settling. Nightlife bustling all around us from the bars and waterfront restaurants. I really like the music made for this game. It's very energetic. <laughs> Kobe kept reassuring me that I'd have a blast. I think that he could read my nerves pretty easily. I've gotten myself into this without really thinking into it much. What if the club was filled with the type of guys Kobe liked to a date? He's not always the best judge of character. He can be way too nice to everyone and I'm certainly a bit more picky. Relatable mate, me too. I suppose technically, Kobe had his long distance boyfriend to anchor him these days, but he wasn't exactly looking to head home empty handed. His boyfriend knew what a free spirit he was, and they had some sort of agreement whilst they were apart. Oh, so they're still friends. No hard, no bad blood then. Kobe always seemed to find someone who would take advantage of his carefree attitude though. Aw, what a poor guy Kobe is. On the flip side, I should probably try to be more adventurous if I didn't want to spend all my time trying to block out the sound of Kobe having fun with his local boyfriends. What the hell? Is, is Kobe like polygamous or something? I don't know if, I don't know, I, I, I presume I pronounced it wrong, but polygamous, like multiple, multiple people in a relationship. Polyamorous. If he's one of those guys, then I'm not judging. So we're finally here. 
and already like I think a raptor has approached us called Kane. <clears throat> Hold on there, Sparky. No shirt, no service. This ain't some frat beach party, kiddo. Hold up. Don't you recognize this cutie? <laughs> God, Kobe, you and your you and your incomprehensible nonsense trying to impress the, the guards. Ah, Kobe. Sorry, champ, didn't see you there. You and your friend can come in. Thanks again, big guy. Whoa, that was really cool of him to let us in so easy. I knew you were friends with the bouncers, but I didn't realize it was that close. I met him through my friend Virgins. It's a long story, but let's just say he has a soft spot for cute guys. Very appreciative. I, a simple I did him a favor would have sufficed. I just appreciate you getting us in. I've never been in a club like this. I wasn't exactly exper experienced in the club scene at all, honestly, but I didn't want him prodding, a, prodding me about it and psyching myself out. Anytime. Hey, I'm going to go dance for a bit and hopefully catch someone's attention. If you need me, just come find me. Have fun, explore around. All right, Cobes, you go have fun. I'll come and see you if I get bored. <laughs> like that will happen. I got plenty of dates to make. Yeah, get some of that love. Off he goes, already rocking his hips to the music as he disappears around the corner. Towards the source of the pulse quickening beat, I didn't want to solder him or cock lock him if meeting new people was going to cheer him up. I might as well look around and figure out what I'll do from there. So, we're going to have a explore around. I'll probably end the part here after I'm done exploring, but let's just, let we'll, we'll see. Oh, we can talk to Kane again. Party's in there, buddy. There's tweens I gotta deal with. <laughs> you have fun doing that. And I guess there's two lesbians there or something. Or probably or probably friends that are, that are females. Nice high tail shirt, by the way. Oh, we got a bunch of... Oh, we got, we got a cheetah or a leopard here. Pretty swaggy there. All right, we can go for the, we can go for the front entrance or the... Let's go for the side. Hmm. And we made it to the dark part of the club, where there's only, like rubbish cans and like pine trees anything else oh we got a full moon oh we got a raptor probably a fox or a wolf and probably more foxes and wolves i don't know i don't know all right we got a side oh we got a playable character here this this um this character's called lex i've all, i already know what the guys what the characters like called names are called but i don't i don't really know their stories so which is why I'm doing this gameplay. Surprise. All right, let's go for the front entrance into the club itself. Oh, and we already got people rocking out. Yeah. All right, there's Kobe here. We got. We can talk to the DJ, and we got girls, blah, 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 blah. We got the barman, that's called Jax. We got like a, um, probably a, a feline here, and that's called Seth. We got like a um, a, fo a female fox here called Sky, and um, we can go back through. We can go back through the main entrance to exit. There's the receptionist, and I really like the looks of these characters. They look really, really, really unique. But this purple guy here, I really like the most. He looks so. He looks so. He looks so cute. I would. I would. I would give him a kiss. Okay. Let's go for the style. Wow, okay. We got one of the bouncers here showing off their buttocks. <laughs> and this guy right here is definitely enjoying it with his tongue slipping out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we got a bunny. And you know what? I really like that the fact that the bouncer's got a mouth tail on the end. I, you never really see those around the fandom. It's really, it's really special. And we've got like a, um, a goat here called called Mercy. And around the corner here, we've got a lion called, um, oh, what was his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. Dennis or something. I hope it's related. And then we're upstairs, lift. We took the lift instead of going up the silly stairs. Venting machine. And now we have a dragon here called Zenith. One of my favorite dates. And down here, we have the pool where we should be. All types of shirtless guys, showers, bartender. Oh, like a Hawaiian bar. 
and we got all the other characters but this one right here I'm particularly interested in called um, Remy the bunny and did you know we can also date our, our stepbrother yes we can oh and well that, that's all like the characters that you get to date and that the characters that I will be playing through in pre in future parts so Fluffbutts I really hope you've enjoyed this first part of Amorous. I promise that I will be releasing the future parts in soon enough once I play them. So the first date that I will probably go for is the was the was the character at the backyard called Lex. So I hope you've enjoyed this first part. Do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down for more parts. Do be sure to do all that, and I'll see you next time. Bye!